Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're having a look at the HPE ML150 generation 9 server. This is a tower server and it's very beautifully designed. Really great solution for those who need an enterprise class server for their office needs or a server which needs to be silent and um, you can also they say this is a really good workstation as well if you want to use it for any professional uses rendering 3d animation graphics video editing in a very small form factor say it's, it's just larger than a standard workstation packs the punch silent once it's loaded into o o the os and it comes with all the amazing features you get from a server so ilo management remote workstation, dual CPU, CPUs, um, ECC memory, it takes up to 512 GB memory, amazing possibilities and upgrades available, it takes eight hard drives, small and big, that's also upgradable. We've got this currently spec as a basic spec, it takes the E526 version 3 and version 4 CPUs. So guys, just power down the server. As you can see, so we've got space to our DVD drives, more hard drive spaces over here. It takes up to eight 2.5 inch drives. You can add another backlane over here as well to take 16. You can upgrade this to have the 3.5 inch drives as well. There's a USB 3 ports here. I'll show you the rear also. So guys, this is the rear of the ML150 generation nine. It takes two power supplies for redundancy. These are 500 watt power supplies. These are tiny. You can see them from the size of my hand. It's very small, very cute. So it takes two 500 watt power supplies. Uh, I'm sure there's higher watt available as well. If you want to go for GPU as well, so you can have higher watts. Loads of PCI slots. A couple of X8, two X16 slots. Again, USB 3 here, your VGA, very minimalistic design, simple, straightforward, it's really good, and I'll show you inside now also. So guys, we've just taken the lid off. As this server runs quiet, HP have designed the baffles in a specific way to aid airflow. It's really, really good design. As you can see, first of all, there's plenty of PC, uh, RAM slots available. So you can get a ton of memory also, two CPUs. We have one installed currently, plenty of PCI slots. We also have the SAS RAID controller, which can be removed if you just want to use SATA. These fans, perfectly designed. There's a ton of opportunities to upgrade also. You can have PCI, NVMEs, you can also add GPUs. It's a really good solution. You can make a very powerful workstation out of this, as well as a normal running server. There's internal USB slots, there's power um, slots for the GPUs, also internal SATA ports. Again, fans. There's a ton of space behind that as well, also, if you want to add hard drives, anything really. If you want a non-nonsense workstation, this is a server to be perfect for office environments. Again, it's the DDR4, it takes version 3 and version 4 Intel Xeon CPUs. So, ton of power, packs a punch, and a bank for your book. It's very cheap and available from us at CTO servers. Thank you guys.